and today we're going to uh, celebrate spring. It's official. It's on the calendar. It is spring. I've been outdoors working in our yard because even though we moved into a, a new build house, the yard really needs a lot of work. The ground is sort of like a rocky beach. It's sandy, but there's lots of rocks in it. So I've been enjoying the warm weather that we've had lately and the birds singing while I walk, work, but it's a lot of work. There's a lot of rocks and a lot of debris in our, in our um, ground. Um, the birdhouse that we're gonna do today, we are not making, we are just decorating. And <clears throat> this is one that I got at Hobby Lobby when it was 40% off. You know, I love a deal, so this was a good one. One of the things I like about this one is that the lid lifts up so that once the birds move out this year, we can clean it for next year. Now, um, I wanna tell you what inspired me. A few years ago, one of my neighbors in our old house showed me a birdhouse that she had made. She had gone to Southern California, met up with a group of her women friends, and had a nice weekend or maybe even longer away. And while she was there, they walked on the beach, they collected some, some pebbles and some shells and some little bits of, of driftwood and they made the cutest houses. Anyway, hers was, was cute and it reminded me of a tiny house that we used to go look at when I was growing up in Seattle and we would go to an area called Alki, which was right on the Sound. And there was a little house that had been completely made of stones. Now, to me, they kind of looked like uh, river rocks. And so they were nice and smooth and, and all basically the same size. And that's lovely if you have access to those kind of rocks. I just went out in my yard and I collected a bunch of the rocks that I had already pulled out and tried to get them somewhat similar in shape and size, but it's not real uniform. I went ahead and put some of the, the rocks on, but first I, I painted this with some leftover porch paint that we had. Now, I did that because I wanted to be sure that I was doing everything I could to preserve the, the wood. You can do that, you don't have to, and you don't have to use porch paint, but I had it, so I used it. Now, um, what I did was I put two sides, I put rocks on because I was concerned that maybe it had to dry a little bit before I could turn it over. I, I kind of have it um, flat on its side when I, when I glue. And I was afraid the rocks might fall off, but they didn't. I used this clear silicone glue that if you uh, did the, or watched the, uh, video I did on yard art with the, the plates and the glass things. I use this then too. And the reason I use it is because it's waterproof. So, you know, with the amount of rain that we get and so forth, it needs to be waterproof. Um, but I'm sure you can use other kinds of glue. I'm just not sure they're waterproof. Now, this was, uh, a tube that did not have a lid. And so when I um, cut off the tip, I needed something that would keep it from running out and that would keep it from drying up. So I just used this really big nail in, and put it in to the end so that it can go, um, stay nice and, and uh, pliable to use. And all I did was I just put on some glue. See how I'm just going along like this. I felt like that was easier than gluing each individual rock. Now, when I, I stick that in there and then I turn this down so that it won't leak out. And I'm going to just put some of these rocks on. You notice I have on vinyl gloves. That's because this is kind of sticky stuff. And it's kind of a mess to get off your hands. So I just go along like that and, and put the rocks on. And then when I get done, and you see I'm not doing it in any particular order, but if you have the inclination, 
you could do them uh, so that it's really a nice job. I don't think the birds really care, but if you do, um, you can you can get rocks that are more similar in size and shape and color. The other thing you might think about doing is if you can get enough flat rocks to do your house, you could put them in like this so they kind of stand up. Can you see that? And now for the next row, I'm just going to take this out again, turn the handle back up, and I'm going to put in another another line of this glue and I'm not um, being real oh, careful or anything here, but um, it's quite forgiving. So I'm going to do that. Put this back in. That's one of the things that sometimes it's hard for people to remember. Keep, keep putting it back in. So then I do the next row. And one of the things that, that happens is you're left with some little gaps. And what I did uh, was I had some smaller rocks that I just put into those gaps. And I actually waited until I had the whole thing covered with the, a little bit larger rocks before I went back and, and filled in some gaps. So that's all you're gonna do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. And when I am uh, completely finished, then I will, um, I will take a picture of it and show you what it's finished like. I'm not gonna take time to do the whole thing. For my roof, I got these little shingles and you know, I've had them long enough, I don't remember where I got them, but I'm sure it was a craft store. And I'll just use the same glue and I'll put them on the roof and then I'm gonna use some stain to, to help preserve them. But it'll go along like that. But I had some other ideas of how you might do that. I thought maybe you could even use shells and put shells on there. Maybe if you have some driftwood, maybe you want to put driftwood on the on the roof. Just whatever you want. Now, I also wanted to show you that, again, I've had these long enough. I don't know where I got them, but I, I will tell you that at least I used to have a lot of craft stuff, even at Goodwill. And I got shells. I got, I got, uh, this is a bag of rocks that probably could have been used either in plants or in, you know, in, uh, aquariums or something like that but if you want to do something tiny you could use that kind of rock anyway i hope that you'll have fun doing this and i think i gotta get this done and get it out there the birds are are just um winging around and and getting all excited and i want to have this up for them so they might use it this year so i'll be back in a while thanks bye well, we're back and the birdhouse is finished. You can see I've got the uh, cedar roof on. I stained it. I used an oil stain. And to tell you the truth, it's darker than I wanted it to be. I used some old stain that we had and I don't know whether it's because it got kind of thick or what. I maybe should have just polyurethaned it. But you can see how the shingles are uh, alternated just like on the roof of a regular house. The other thing is I put some tiny little shells that I had around the opening just to kind of give it a decorative look. Now this is the little perch that the bird lands on in order to go inside. And so I put some more uh, tiny rocks, some that were flatter around here so that I wouldn't cover the uh, perch too much. Hopefully they can, that's big enough for them to get into the birdhouse. But um, as you maybe already know, the size of the opening for the bird depends on the type of bird you hope to attract. It also uh, is important how high you put it. Different birds fly at different uh, levels, different nests, 
And little birds don't want a big bird or a squirrel or something to get inside their nest. And so you might need to do a little research before you uh, make your bird house, before you buy one, I should say. The other thing is this bird house is heavy now that it's got all these rocks on it. And so whatever you use to hang it, if you're going to hang it, will have to be sturdy. If it's a branch, it'll have to be sturdy. If you put it on a, on a post, of course, you don't need a chain on top. If you mount something to the post that you have, maybe like a four by four post and you put a hanger on it, just make sure that it's one that can uh, hold the weight. Anyway, you can finish it off any way you like. You could paint the roof, you can put uh, many different things on, on the roof, but I hope you have fun and I hope this is something that maybe you do with a friend or, or a child could help you with this too. That would be a fun project to do. So have fun. Bye.